White was better than green. Surprise, surprise. Shaheen is 2-0 with an Esper deck. We're going to zoom in here and take a look at the board. Shaheen's got a, quite a few lands in play, along with a Soren, Solemn Visitor, which is leaving the board. And two vampire tokens for Sean McCaffrey. He's playing Mardu Midrange, a deck that is picking up in popularity in a big way here in the Open Series. He's got a Seeker of the Way, a Goblin token you have to imagine is from Goblin Rabble Master, though it could be Hordling Outburst and a bunch of lands. So we are deep into game number two here. Shaheen is up again. Sheen's deck, exactly what you'd expect from him. He has eight main deck Planeswalkers, the full set of End Hostilities, and a full set of Dissolves. Let's see, this is going to be a Butcher of the Horde. Shaheen's actually looking at Dissolve in his hand right now, so will he pull the trigger? The answer is yes. That will get countered. Take a look at the top card. Leave it on top very quickly. wonder what that is. Here comes a Seeker. There's a double block. There goes a Tom Ross token. See what else is going to happen here in just a moment. He left that card on top of his deck in the Dissolve very fast. So I know there's no Sphinx's Revelation draw in the format, so I'm really wondering what this is. Right, he does have four Dig Through Time in his deck. And Dig, dig Through Time, while not Sphinx's Revelation, um, resolving one can feel pretty backbreaking for an opponent. You see Dig and Dissolve in Shaheen's hand. And yeah, the third card is actually Elspeth, too. So there's an Elspeth from Sean. This not be very hard for Sean to break out of. There's a Dissolve from Shaheen. So that's got to go away. Take a look at the top card here, Will Shaheen. That one's going to the bottom. He'll draw a card. Didn't get a great look. And it looks like Shaheen couldn't dig against up there. He only has three blue mana right now, actually. So if he dissolves in a turn, he can't dig. He's going to cast an Elspeth now with two blue mana left over to be able to dig. So this is the shield's down moment, and it's not a very big one, but this is where Sean gets to resolve a spell. And Shaheen is at six, so if Sean's got a good spell to resolve, now's the time. Draws a card, didn't get a great look. But he's not moving all that quickly, so it feels like it's probably an okay spot, though he did get a, get a little bit of a glimpse there of a Butcher of the Horde. Stormbreath Dragon would be pretty good right now, as would, you know, that would put Sheen in burn range. But Shaheen has countered such good cards the last two turns, both Butcher and the Horde and Elspeth. So at a certain point, Shaheen, I think he took a pretty good risk here. At some point, you assume that your opponent has used their best spells. Butcher felt like the See, Butcher felt like a bait spell, so then when he went for the Elspeth, that felt like a trump. And once you countered their bait spell and what you think is the card they were setting up for, then you can kind of figure that maybe the, that any good card they have remaining would be something they had top decked. Sean's going to take a look at the Graveyard in the Exile Zone. Now he's going to cast his Butcher of the Horde, hoping it resolves. And it does. Sacrifice a token, attack you, kill your Elspeth. Okay. So don't put you to one, just kill your Elspeth and then pass the turn back. Shaheen's going to cast a Dig Through Time. He will delve the necessary cards, of course. Two mana, take a look at the top seven, take two of them with you. Now, Shaheen's main deck has no creatures in it, but because Mardu could actually kill all your Planeswalkers, Shaheen's gone to a sideboard for some of his copies of Prognostic Sphinx. You see one of them hanging out in his hand, just to make sure he has a way to win the game. Players who don't like to play creatures in the deck always add them in on the deck list in the creature section. There's oftentimes a large LOL, or in Shane's case, none in caps underline. I usually just scribble out the word creatures and write <laughs> more spells. <laughs> See, for me, it's the opposite. I prefer all creatures, no spells. That's, that's my jam. Here's another hostilities. Shaheen's going to have to reset and kill everything. Not the most elegant of ways to get rid of that Butcher of the Horde, but does set up the board nicely for this Ashiok that he now gets to play. Read the Bones, Bloodstained Mire, and Lightning Strike are going to go away. Those are Exile. Pass the turn back over to Sean. Looks like Sean picked up a copy of Bloodstained Mire. There's Nomad Outpost. Pass the turn back over to Shaheen. He's going to take up Ashiok again. A couple of cards here. Stormbreath Dragon, Lightning Strike, and a Butcher of the Horde. Those are good ones. So Ashiok's going to have something to play with here. There's a Prognostic Sphinx on defense, and Shaheen looks like he may have officially turned the corner here. He's worn down the defenses enough here. He and It was a Butcher, an Elspeth, and then another Butcher. Shaheen found answers for all three of them, and now he does have a win con in, in Ashiok that Sean has to answer. 
Temple to see to come into play a little scry action. Sean very quickly just draws and passes the turn back. Ashiok is going to bring back Storm Breath Dragon. It ticks down to two. Here's an attack and extension of the hand. Shaheen Sarani is going to win this match over Sean McCafferty. Two games to zero, and the Esper Mage gets it done again. Glad